All right, grateful nine time. This is how you're going to lay them all onto one sheet of paper. So you're going to go ahead and we're going to start with a new file. So you're going to go file new in Photoshop. But in this case, this is one of the few times we're going to actually change this file size down pretty dramatically because I don't want it to take that long to print up these. So we can go to the normal U.S. paper, which would give us 8.5 by 11. However, I'd like you to change that to just a simple 72 resolution. So once again, 8.5 inches on the width, 11 inches on the height, and 72 inches, oh, sorry, 72 for the resolution, okay? So that will look like this. And there's one thing I want you to add, and that's a few guidelines. And these guidelines are going to make sure that your images are beautifully centered and they fit exactly where you need them, okay? So your guidelines are going to go under your view section. So top menu view, we're going to put a new guide and you're going to go ahead, again, delete all that and you're going to type in 33.33%. .33%. Make sure you put the percentage sign. If you don't, you will not get the correct one. Um, and this happens to be on the vertical. And you get that nice little like aqua blue line. View, new guide, and I'm going to do 66.66% on the vertical. And that's nice and evenly spaced in the three pieces. And then I'm going to do the same on the horizontal, but make sure you don't forget to change that over to horizontal. And then one more. Again, horizontal, this time 66.66%. All right, so at this stage, um, you're going to do a simple place of your pictures. Now, there's a little added step in here if your pictures do not fit, so it is really important that you do place them correctly. File, place. We'll make sure that everything that you did, if you did any kind of filtering, or you did any cool special effects, it's all going to get compressed onto one layer so it stays nice and neat. So you're going to place wherever those pictures are. You're going to go ahead and find that image. Like let's say I decide I want the one with the fish was one of my days. So place will start off with putting in a document that looks just like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold the shift key down. That makes sure that you cannot stretch or shrink this picture in a weird way. I'm going to hold that shift key down. I'm going to let go of it when I want to move it. I'm going to hold that shift key again. Now notice right there, if I get the right width, it's too tall. So it's really important that you do one of two things. One is you decide if that's too tall, I'm going to go ahead and push it up to the top. But I look at this and I actually like it better with this cut off. I think it's a better image. So when I'm done placing it, I'm going to press enter. Okay. Now the easy way of just cropping it off would be to right click and rasterize the layer because if you look this layer has this little tiny funny looking symbol we talked about it um, a couple times before it's called a smart object it won't let you do things to it so you get that big not sign because it's a smart object you want to make sure that you are getting um, the correct tool usage on the correct kind of layer so here if I right click on the layer and I say rasterize it's a normal picture layer now that smart layer is gone I can then grab that section with my rectangular marquee tool and just hit the delete key. So that's done. Okay, just make sure that you get a really good fit. I would definitely make sure that you zoomed in because if you look, I actually missed a little bit. You can see that I have like a little bit of a gap. So I'm going to go back here before I delete. I'm going to actually nudge it down with my keyboard arrow. Delete. Much better. Okay, I can also take and I can nudge it over one just to make sure. Now, for right now, this image is kind of falling off the edge here a tiny bit. It can also fall off that top edge. It's no problem if it falls off the edge. You don't have to delete what's there. It's perfectly fine to leave it, okay? So place in the second one, file, place, and I'm going, I'm just gonna pick a random something. I'm gonna pick these flowers. It's going to put it in. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold the shift key and make it a little bit smaller. Now on this one, up a little bit, again, hold that shift key, make it the perfect width. But on this one, I'm actually going to nudge it up and make it even with the bottom. So the rest of that picture, no, oh, I can't zoom out. There we go. The rest of that picture is actually up above there by control T. You can see the rest of the picture is hanging off the edge. 
it's fine. You can delete that, but you don't have to. So you're going to go all the way through, and you're going to continue placing pictures. You're going to continue right-click and rasterizing any layer that you need to remove. There we go. Any layer that you need to remove too much from. So you're going to continue on your way. And then after that, you're going to go ahead and file Save As to your H drive. So again, you're going to go ahead to your own H drive um, and put it in your digital photo folder, in your pictures folder, whatever it may be. This will be a Photoshop document, so it will stick out dramatically when we go into your folders. When we go into your folders in the P drive, again, classes, me, student Dropbox for our particular class period, and you will have found, and hopefully you put those in last week, your Grateful Nine folder. Grateful Nine folder has all of your names, all of your last names are a folder in there. So I should see, again, nine individual images and one Photoshop um, compilation image like this. Don't forget, save it to your H drive, then copy and paste it in. Must, must, must copy and paste to the P drive. You cannot do a direct save. But that is it. Again, file, place, and then you can right-click rasterize in order to um, edit some of your photos and get rid of certain areas to align them properly. But that's pretty much the gist of it. When you are all done, you're going to go ahead and file, print. Now this is going to fit exactly on a sheet of white paper. So I'm going to ask, instead of letting it um, fall off the edge, you're going to get an error message. If you just press print, you're going to get an error message saying the image is larger than the paper. Should I just, you know, should I just crop it? The answer is no, I don't want you to crop it because then these pictures are going to be bigger and the edge pictures are going to be smaller. So again, you're going to go to file, print, and hopefully by now you do remember what printer you're printing to, and then you're going to scale it to fit, and then you hit the print key. And you'll get that picture out. Neatly put your name on the back of it. Again, no marker. You don't want it leaking through the front. So that is it. I'm going to go ahead and upload this video so you guys can get going with this. But please get yourselves moving with what we remember.